Beneath the towering summit of Everest lies a story etched in mystery and time. In 1924, George Mallory and Andrew Irvine embarked on an audacious climb that would become one of mountaineering's greatest enigmas. Their fate, entwined in the clouds, sparks a question that challenges history. Were they the first to conquer Everest? Join us as we uncover new insights into this enduring mystery. Mallory and Irvine, dreamers of the summit. George Mallory, the classic mountaineer, and Andrew Irvine, a young, promising climber united by a singular dream, to ascend Everest, a feat never before accomplished. As they set sail from England in 1924, little did they know their journey would transcend time, becoming a tale of ambition, courage, and enduring speculation. In the spring of 1924, the British Everest expedition, carrying the hopes of a nation, began its ascent. Mallory and Irvine, equipped with the era's rudimentary gear, faced the unforgiving might of Everest. Their journey, marked by sheer determination against formidable odds, was watched by the world, anticipating either a historic triumph or a tragic defeat. June 8, 1924. Noel O'Dell, a seasoned climber and a member of the expedition, glimpsed Mallory and Irvine on the summit ridge, a mere 800 feet from the top. This final sighting at 12.50 p.m., as recounted by Odell, showed the climbers moving strongly towards the summit. But then, the clouds closed in, and they vanished. The exact point Odell saw them, whether the first step or the second step, remains a crucial detail in unraveling their fate. Debate surrounds the sighting by Odell. If it was the first step, reaching the summit would have been unlikely due to the late hour. But if it was the second step, the summit might have been within their grasp. These speculations form the heart of the mystery. Did Mallory's experience and Irvine's vigor lead them to the peak, or did Everest claim them before they could achieve their goal? In 1999, an expedition led by Eric Simonson discovered Mallory's body, lying at 26,760 feet. The discovery offered poignant clues, severe injuries suggesting a fall and the absence of his wife's photograph, which he intended to leave at the summit. These findings reignited the debate, yet yielded no conclusive answers. Central to this enduring mystery is Irvin's Kodak camera, still lost to Everest. If found, and if it contains summit photos, it could rewrite mountaineering history. Irvine's fate, intertwined with the camera's whereabouts, compounds the enigma. Did he descend in defeat, or did he perish alongside Mallory in their quest for glory? The saga of Mallory and Irvine, framed against the colossal backdrop of Everest, remains one of history's captivating tales. A story of human ambition, the lure of the unknown, and a mystery that continues to fascinate. Their legacy, a blend of fact and lore, challenges us to ponder. Did Mallory and Irvine conquer the world's highest peak? This question, like their fateful journey, endures in the annals of mountaineering legend.